I've had his MRIs right here before and after. You can take a look at him if you want after, but I didn't show you. He had cancer in his sternum. It wasn't looking good at all. So he has cancer in his sternum, and he finds out about me. He comes out to the airport where I was working helicopters and buys me lunch twice a week. And uh, I put him on the stones. The only thing he did was a stone therapy and yoga. That's all he did for his cancer. In 1970, my mother had cervical cancer. They operated on her, and they found that it had spread, and she was just full of it. So they put her back together, and they sent her home, and they said she had three or four weeks to live. And one of her oncologists from Omaha, who is now deceased, so that's, I'm not telling on anybody. Well, I am. But, <laughs> but uh, he met with my parents, and he asked them if they would like to try something. And he told them about it, what he wanted to do, but that they could not share this, or he would lose his license over it. And uh, they said, well, sure, anything. And he took, on, uh, took it upon himself, and he flew to Switzerland. And he came back with a set of gold capsules that had low-dose radiation. And he put them in my mother. And she died 33 years later uh, from smoking, unfortunately, of a heart attack, and never had cancer again. So I was really, I, I, she didn't even have to convince me that this was something that works. We had seen it, my family has known about it since 1970. So, and then I had my own little situation come about, and so I have the, the kit, and I can't say enough to have done Thank you very it's much. Yeah. It's, it's folks like you that's going to make a difference because um, Jay and I have decided that we only have each other. Okay, for you want like a testimony with this? Oh yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, when Helen told me about this, like I said earlier, and I was aware of it with my mother situation, and then uh, later I started having a problem where I was losing my eyesight. And my doctor couldn't figure it out. The eye doctor, new glasses, of course, and all the tests, and that didn't help any. And then my PSA test started going up and uh, was having prostate problems. So finally, uh, my medical doctor, he had me get an MRI and found out I had a tumor in my pituitary gland. And he wanted to do biopsy of that, and I said, no, I won't do that. And and as far as radiation treatments or, or chemo treatments, absolutely not. Okay. I've been you, around that You enough. did the correct thing. I've been around it enough to know it's not right. Mm -hmm. Anyway, they uh, got the kit through yeah. Helen here, yeah, bless her. Kit. Yeah, and she uh, told me what to do. Of course, the instructions were there. Started doing the water, started doing the pack on the back of my head. And I, I slept with it in a pillowcase every night. And uh, the uh, the stones, you know, like, and I also had had for almost three years I'd had a, a spot in my throat here that had caused a lot of problems with swallowing. It had problem. I had problems with my voice. And another thing, I went I went to Dr. Crocker. He didn't do me any good. Uh, uh, my ear goes and throat. You know. And my own doctor, he never could do anything for it. So I kept holding one of the green stones against it when I would sit. And one day, that came out. Totally. It just, I coughed it up. And he was talking about the bad smell. Absolutely. It was horrible. And, and uh, it was about the size of a, of a uh, marble. And it was just, it's gone and it's been gone since. And you were sleeping on a mud pack then, were you? And on the back of my head. Oh, put it mm -hmm. on the back of your head. And then I would hold this on, on here. You're telling about your well, eyesight. Well, then what? my eyesight cleared up because I, when I did my own research online about the, the pituitary gland, it controls your optic, your, your prostate, your spleen, and your lungs. Mm -hmm. It can have effect on all those. Well, I had two of those already, which told me that wasn't a good sign. Right. And so, after I started using it, though, the 
uh, eyesight has come back, and I was nearly to the point that, that my doctor said, that, you know, when you when you have a really bad day with this, don't drive. It was that getting that bad. He said, I want you driving. Mm -hmm. And and uh, then the eyesight cleared up. Then I went back and I had another PSA test done. It gone down to zero point seven. Amazing. And I did tell my doctor about it. And your PSA was and what all level? All I got was chewed out for doing. It. Yeah. Oh, of course. What yeah. was your PSA level? It had been eight point four the last time, yeah. and it went to zero point seven yeah. in just a matter of three weeks. Yeah. He was so excited. Well, my Understandably. goodness, yes. yes, I see. Yeah, it's your life. you can't. Uh, I mean, I just can't tell you how miraculous it is, and I can't tell you how neat it was to hear about it again after having. All those years, 40 years between my mother's experience and now to, to know that it's around again, you know. That's great. Good. Thank you.